Oh, this is a tough tail to swallow. Tough tail to swallow. Uh, where do I begin? Where do I begin? I know it's the first week of the season, the first game of the season. So I'm not going to act like the world is over, you know, to, you know, the end is coming. But, oh my god, that was pathetic. That was pathetic. You can't say anything else, but that was pathetic. And as a Patriot fan, I'll admit, it was pathetic. I'm not going to say, I'm going to be like some Patriot fans, they're going to sit there going, oh, the ref screwed us over, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm not going to go to that. We played pathetic. The Patriots played pathetic. Their offensive line played pathetic. We're really missing Logan Mankins now, aren't we? Our running game, which usually is non-existent, is still pathetic. Our wide receiver core is pathetic. It really is. No, I don't count Shane Vereen as a wide receiver. He's not Dexter McCluster. Okay, he's Shane Vereen. There's no running back slash wide receiver on his, you know, position resume. No, it's just running back. He's like a, you know, poor man's Jaquie Bell. Lions fans, you know what I'm talking about. Our defense, that was supposed to be magically improved, played pathetic. Our defensive line played pathetic. When no Sean Moreno, who the Denver Broncos just let go because they're like, LOL, we got like four other running backs that we use on a daily basis anyway, we don't need them. Got 130, what's it, 130 yards? I think 134 yards to be exact. I could be wrong, but it was at least over 130 yards. A running, what the Dolphins haven't had, in my honest opinion, a good running back, at least I've used a good running back, since, like, Ricky Williams, is pathetic. And Tom Brady didn't play all that well either. Why? Because the offensive line sucked. You remember on Thursday Night Football when I said, oh, the offensive line of the Green Bay Packers sucked, and Rand Rodgers didn't have that good of a game. Almost same scenario here. Except for at least the Seahawks are a very good team. The Dolphins suck. They're not as good as they are here. And I know they're like, oh, you're just mad because the Dolphins beat you. The Dolphins are not this good. Did they play a good game? Yes, they did. They played a good game. I'm not going to say they played a bad game. Obviously, they played a good game the Dolphins do. Are they this good? No. I really doubt they're this is good. The Patriots, they sucked. They sucked. Plain and simple. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Again, they just sucked. And it's just horrible. But hey, I know people are going to be like, oh, this is the first time since like 2003 since the Patriots lost in the uh, opening game of the season. Ironically enough, that was a road game against a division foe. And Tom Brady was, you know, quarterback. Now, I'm not saying, oh, this means we're going to win the Super Bowl because that was the last time that did happen. Patriots did go out in the win the school. <clears throat> again, it's only the first week of the season, so I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, we're going 0-16, because that's just, that's just ridiculous. We have too much talent. We actually have somewhat of a relatively easy schedule. Even though, on paper, this was supposed to be an easy game for us. And forever, for all you Dolphins fans, if any Dolphins fan is like, subscribe to me, please do not say how your team is this good. Ryan Tannehill has never had a good season. Your offensive line is mediocre at best. It was better than us today. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The Dolphins' offensive line was better than the Patriots. And don't say how your wide receiver core is so damn good. Brian Hartline can, not is, can be good. Kind of inconsistent. And Mike Wallace, please don't say Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace is like, what Eric Decker had to deal with today and what freaking other Greg Jennings, you know, the Greg Jennings of the world where on paper you think of, wow, they're really good. You know, last over years, they're really good top wide receivers because they had elite to good quarterbacks. See you know what Mike Wallace has to deal with? You guys have a decent tight end though, Charles Clay. He has a... But, oh my God. 
this was just so stupid. And they were up, like, what, a half time? I think it was, like, 20 to 13? Or oh, third quarter, I know they were up 20 to 13. And I was like, oh, cool, it's a little too close to comfort, but hey, at least we have the lead. Next thing you know, oh, field goal. Oh, touchdown. Oh, another touchdown. Field goal. Then the turnovers were just so stupid. Like, that one interception that Brady threw was just mind-boggling. Like, I don't know what the hell that was. Oh. And then, running the football. Oh, my God. Steven Ridley, I can't wait till you're gone. I can't. I swear, I swear, the only reason why we haven't traded this bastard is because no one wants him. That's that. So the Jaguars can even how, how bad Toby Gearhart was today. But, oh, my God. He cannot hold the football without fumbling. Brandon Bolden's just LOL, I'm there. And Shane Vereen, again, is not a really running back. He's more of a wide receiver. He's a perfect, you know, he's only good for screen passes. That's it. That's it. Again, how can you get a good running game when your offensive line completely blows? Ugh. Well, how weird is it going to be looking like? Next week, when we take on, I believe it's the Minnesota Vikings on the road, another road game for us. When the Vikings are going to open with a 1 0 record, and the Patriots are going to have an 0 1 record. If we did this bad against Noshan Moreno, I don't even want to know how bad we are going to do against Adrian Peterson. I'm, I'm scared. Is Adrian Peterson going to get, like, 230 yards on the run against us? Because we need to me have a mediocre running back in Nosha Moreno who goes 130-plus yards. God forbid what the best running back in the National Football League is going to do against us. <sighs> hey, let's face that castle. Yeah. Maybe we'll make him look good. Anyways, we lose 33-20 on the road against, in my opinion, a not-so-good division foe. We still lose. It's just pathetic.